All right. Um, this is firing up here. So, how many groups know the acceleration involved in this problem? You know, acceleration for this. We got one, two. We didn't really work on that. Okay. We more we more in concepts. Okay. And that's so that's the other end of it. So then uh, there are other groups that have thought about the forces here a little bit. Okay. So uh, group two, very quickly, you landed on the acceleration. Can you kind of talk us through what you did there? Hey, shush, folks. Hey, did you catch that in the cheap seats? Okay, so very quickly they just took the numbers, plug chug, got an acceleration. What's that the acceleration for? Uh, the, whole the whole system. Okay, what's the acceleration for the four kilogram box? Because it is, and they're touching, okay? And I don't know that I included all this stuff. There, you have that on your sheet, right? They're touching. They're in contact with each other. So they're in contact with each other. They're all moving together. You're watching it. Um, but we got to tease out a little bit more from this thing. And I want to look at an important problem-solving strategy that, that comes into play here. So... Um, this is a common free body diagram I see right now when I'm looking around. So I've got the two kilogram block here. So this is 20 Newtons FG. I've got 20 Newtons of smoosh poosh. I've got 18 Newtons of uh, smoosh poosh here. And then I've got 18 Newtons of smoosh poosh here. Okay. So let's say this is a two kilogram box, all right? Beef with that for me for this situation. A lot of people have drawn this, but what issues are we gonna run into here? Ben? Balanced. It's balanced. What did Simon and, uh, and Charlie just get done talking to us about? It's not balanced, okay? So there shouldn't be a force over here, right? Because there's no friction. So then it should just be this, and I would go 20 up, 18 over, 20 down, and I get a FU of 18, and then I do 18 divided by 2. Who's got a calculator here? 9, okay, meters per second squared. And that's the acceleration for the 2-kilogram block, right? Ooh, but the people that drew a system schema are saying no. Why? Because what's wrong with my free body diagram? I'm only showing three forces here. So here's where it's beneficial to have a system schema. Uh, I'm going to have to have the pusher. I'm going to have the two kilogram box. I've got the three kilogram box. I've got the four kilogram box. What else do I need here? Table. Table. Earth. Okay, uh, pusher to two, two to three, three to four, table, 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 earth, earth, earth. Okay, um, do we know the sizes of some of these interactions? Well, yeah, I think we do. Let me get a different color going here. So this is G, G. G, this is smoosh poosh, smoosh poosh, smoosh poosh, smoosh poosh, smoosh poosh, smoosh poosh. All right, so I'm going to go with uh, blue, blue or green. Let's go blue. The pusher, we know this interaction, right? The pusher is putting an 18 Newton force on block two. Okay, so I got that one. Somebody else give me another force that I know here. The gravity forces. Gravity forces, right? So for the two kilogram, this is 20 newtons. For the three kilograms, this is 30 newtons. For the four kilogram, this is 40 newtons. 
Okay. Uh, smoosh pushes with the table. Safe to say we know those, right? Yeah. So this is going to be 20 newtons. This is going to be 30 newtons. This is going to be 40 newtons. Okay. So here's the thing that I want to bring back. Uh, we talked about it earlier in the year, and it, it's really going to be important now when we're dealing with multiple body problems. And this is kind of what Charlie and Simon's group did already. You took the three blocks and did what to them? Consider them as one system. So I'm going to take the two, three, and four, and around them, I'm going to put what's called a system boundary. And I'm going to only care about the forces that cross that system boundary. And so when I do my free body diagram, it's going to be for the system. And I'm only going to look at the interactions that cross that boundary. So I've got the pusher. That interaction crosses the boundary. It's 18 newtons. And so I'm going to draw it like this. 18 newtons. This is FSP uh, system, comma, pusher. Okay. Um, if you look at this other stuff, how many other interactions do we have to consider? So I guess, yeah, in the, how many lines are we considering in addition to this one? Six. Six lines. Okay. Six lines. This gravity crosses, this gravity co crosses, this gravity crosses. What are they all going to have in common, though? They're all gravity. They're all gravity, so they're all pointing down. Okay. And that's going to be a total of what? 90. So I've got 90 Newtons FG. And that's going to be system comma earth okay and then if i look at the smoosh pushes from the table 20 30 40 those are crossing over but again all those smoosh pushes are directed up so i'm just going to combine those in one upward force smoosh push system comma table and so if you do um hbd for this you're going to have 90 up you're going to have 18 over. This is really well scaled, Mr. Harding. You're going to have 90 down. And so this is this is where I get an FU of 18. All the way. And so then I'm going to take that 18 newtons and divide it by the mass, which is 9 kilograms. And I'm getting agreement with root 2 that this is 2 meters per second squared. So now I can go into a velocity versus time graph. And I can figure out stuff about motion because I know the acceleration of the system. All right. There are a couple things that I don't know right now. And these types of problems are all about figuring out as much stuff as possible. Don't know that. I don't know that. Okay. We didn't have to worry about those because they were inside the system boundary. That allowed us to initially ignore some of the things that we didn't know. But now that we know a little bit more about the motion end of things, I'd like you to go in there and try to unpack those a little bit. You can see from this, uh, if we now take away that system boundary, okay, um, so I can go in and erase that, but who's got the time? So it's like you're taking the blanket off of it, okay? We had a blanket covering these three things. And we just had the, the blanket, the system. Now we're going to expose those things again. Because now I know a little something about their motion. They're in contact. So they're all moving together. They're moving together with an acceleration of 2 meters per second squared. You know the acceleration of each object. Now dive into the free body diagrams and see if you can't figure out a little bit more about the forces they're experiencing individually. So now slide on down and think about... What does the free body diagram look like for the two kilogram? What does the free body diagram look like for the three kilogram? What does the free body look like for the four kilogram? Okay. How about that? They can't be balanced because they have to be accelerated.
Two kilograms has to be two meters a second. 18 minus 14 is four over two is two. Same thing here, 18 minus 12 is six. So how big is two required to give a two kilogram block? So 18 minus four. <laughs> and then, uh, it's probably given unbound. It's required to give a two kilogram yeah. block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that's right. All right, that's the whole system. That's the system. Because you have to make this the, the big arrow. So eight <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Ponder that over the weekend. Do that lap thing. It's due. Tomorrow. Yeah. D O. Because it's D U E. Probably. 